Welcome to my channel, Digital Ham Radio Diary. Perfect speed. Let's do a comparison video on using these two RTL SDR. So this is what I would call is the original one. The front says RTLSDR.com. You've got this sort of label here at the back. Looks like that. They're both USB, but the original has only two screws. When you take the board out, which I'm not going to, it's like a green colour. Say so, so this is the one that I have tested and I would say works well on everything. Um, it doesn't have all these, when it's receiving, it, it, the, it doesn't have all this interference coming in and it's on frequency and clear audio can be heard. Okay, now for me, this is the copy that you can buy. So this one's about £40. The original is about £40. Okay, this, this is the clone copy. Now it does work. It's not a complete waste of money, and you can get these under £20, but they're off frequency, in my opinion. So these are my opinions, yeah? They're off frequency. Uh, there's four screws on this one. You actually, when you shake it, it rattles, yeah? And uh, I might take them apart one day and have a look. But anyway, um, they're both USB, and um, when you put it on to receive, you get all this junk coming in through maybe you can filter it out you know maybe there's things you can do it's not completely useless i mean on broadcast radio it, I, it works i think it works very well so it's like a little radio a scanner for your pc with a lovely sdr scope it's, it's i think for 15 if you can get these for 16 quid i've seen them for 16 quid why not yeah but for me pay the extra get the best one and uh, you know it's going to be you know the one that works so let's just um Go on to the comparison video. I'm actually going to test them both um, on HF, VHF, and UHF. M0 FXB just going to show you the difference between the clone RTL SDR and the, uh, the the original. The original has the words RTLSDR.com on the side, and on the back has like a little sticker. But anyway. So I'm going to push play and you're going to hear the original one now. It's on my node at home on 434550. And have a listen. And this is what you expect. It's going to be on frequency. Let's push play and turn it up. As soon as someone speaks. Oh, he was talking to that posh man in Wales. There you go. A couple of stations chatting there. Right, I'll stop that and I'll plug in the cheap uh, sort of clone copy now and see the difference. You'll see that it's off frequency and um, very bad quality audio. I haven't changed any settings. I just plugged it in. We'll push play. Right, now we are still getting signals. It's not that you hear nothing. So there it is there. Same station. Off frequency. There you go. Uh, I'll move around with the frequency. Yeah, um, you start to get it. Yeah, um, It'd be on wide FM, is it better? Still got that beep, that beep in the background. Interesting stuff. Quite so can you see how it, it still works? It's still a usable device, but you've got to mess around a bit. Now let's, let's get it on to HF. Okay, we're back. Unfortunately, there's no live um, analogs. Sorry, there's no live voice LSB on 40 meters. So I'm going to have to go with the digi sound. So here's the digi sound. And you hear that, it's a, it's a sound that you'd expect to hear on Digi, okay? We're on 7.074 for FT8, and that's the sound you'd expect. So and that's on the good dongle, the original RTLSDR.com dongle, the one I recommend. So, let's just pause this, and then we'll plug the same, um, put the antenna onto the, the clone dongle, and let's see the difference. So let's just stop it here. 
and I'm just going to swap it over live. So um, I do recommend getting one of these dongles. You know, they're brilliant. You can do the marine band, air band, broadcast frequencies. I mean, it's like to me for you know for thirty pound, it's like having the best ham radio you could ever have. And these kind of ham radios, as you know, are, are cost thousands. So right, just plugged in the cheap one, the cheap dongle. It does work. So we're going to hit play, and let's hear the difference. Let's turn it up. I'd say that one actually is more on frequency. So I, I'd actually say that the HF side is um, is better. So that's a plus for the dot for the cheaper dongle. Leave it there and put the expensive one back on. So, the cheaper one isn't a total waste of money. And I think if you learn, learn the cheaper one, you probably can tweak things to make it work better. So right, put the original one back in. Like so. Right, that's the original one back in. We're going to hit play. Yeah, so... I see that the original one is actually getting more interference. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, let's just do it. You can actually make that wider. See that? See the way you can do that? actual voice there. Well, hopefully you can hear that. Right, and then what we're going to do, I'm going to I have to swap it back now, we've got an audio station, so one sec. Always hit stop up here on the left and these are great fun these these devices are great fun so right putting the cheap one back on now and we're gonna see what it's like on HF right everything's connected same antenna it's a G5 RV RV by the way same antenna let's just get it on now okay we'll hit play Yeah, the interference is actually less. Okay, well that sort of leaves you to decide really. For me, VHF, no, UHF, it definitely was better on frequency. But who knows, that could just be settings. Uh, the cheaper one, in the end, it performed better than I expected. Um, so uh, yeah, you've got to decide. This is like just a comparison. Let me know what you think. 7-3, all the best.